Titans and the Jaguars meeting number two of the 2021 season today at Nissan Stadium. Keys to a Titans victory from Tennessee head coach Mike Frabel. Yeah, hoping to get back to the basics, Mike. Hoping to make sure that on special teams, when you watch us and, and you see our matchups, that we're winning those things one-on-one -on -one with technique and fundamentals. You know, we're running down there, we're stacking guys, and we're shedding at the line of scrimmage, or we're blocking them on kickoff return to help create. You know, we're going to get opportunities, not a whole lot of touchbacks. So we're going to be a, you know, have a chance to return kickoffs, uh, hopefully not too many. Offensively, man, it comes down to trying to wear down this front, uh, being consistent with it, finishing blocks, you know, don't pick and choose when we play our style. And, and we got to take care of the football. Uh, we we got to make sure we fight through that fringe area. You get to the 35, 40 yard line, we're in four or five plays into a drive. You know, that's not the time to let up. And we got we've, we've had too many let ups right there in that area. Defensively, we continue to talk about stopping the run, but being sure and physical tacklers. We have to, you know, run to the ball. And, and also, it's about affecting the quarterback. You know, we got to tip some passes. We have to get into the pocket. We have to coordinate our rush. It can't be where we're breaking down and we're giving guys the, the, the opportunity to rush and scramble and, and break down the defense. So hopefully we're back to the basics and we're playing football the way we know how. Michael, good luck today against the Jaguars. Thanks, guys. That's Titans head coach Mike Vrabel and his keys to a victory over Jacksonville this afternoon. You're listening to Titans Countdown presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Before we continue, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. If it's a Titans game, it happens here. This is Titans Radio. Rare. Here comes Henry to the left. Great step off. Oh, have some of that. Oh, have some, Junior. To seize the opportunity. Jeffrey Simmons and the Titans have recovered it. In a longer season. A.J. Brown with plays rink to spare. Where the grind is real. Tannehill ah, cap. Yeah. Finger ah. roll. Touchdown, Titans. A flip of the coin and just like that, it's go time. Tennessee Titans football is on. The Air with Rhett Bryant, Amy Wells, Titans Radio's head coach Dave McGinnis, and the voice of the Titans, Touchdown Titans, Mike Key. Exclusive Titans coverage and kickoff is here. When the Titans took the field in Jacksonville on October 10th, they were coming off of a brutal loss to the Jets. That day in North Florida, the Titans didn't play great, but they played clean and they won. It started a six game win streak. Today in Nashville, the Titans are coming off of back to back losses as they again host the Jaguars. Tennessee hopes to start another win streak with a victory today. Coach Dave McGinnis, how do the Titans get that done? Well, not only need to play clean, Mike, they need to play with an edge today. They need to play with an edge from the jump of this football game. Offensively, defensively, and on the teams, this Titans football team has got to take control early and continue to exert control throughout this ball game. That's what you want to do coming off of a bye. Referee for today's game is Bill Benovich, umpire Tony Mekalek, down judge Patrick Holt, line judge Mark Perlman, field judge Joe Blueball, side judge Jimmy Buchanan, back judge Jimmy Russell. Benovich's crew is on track to call the fewest penalties of any officiating crew for the sixth straight year. They have averaged just 11 and a half penalties called per game in 2021. So they are going to let them play. Yeah, they're going to let them play, and that's a really good thing, especially coming off of a bye. You want to be able to play full speed and not worry about everything being nitpicked. I like this a lot. Jacksonville wins the toss, elects to defer. The Titans will receive. So Chester Rogers drifts deep, and periodically we tell you this stat because it's now 20 years old. The Titans have not returned the opening kickoff for a touchdown since Derek Mason did it November 18, 2001 in Cincinnati, a span of 323 consecutive games. That's been a stretch. That has been a stretch. So Matthew Wright will kick off, and let's see if Chester Rogers can break the streak. Great day for football. Temperature in the upper 40s, sunny at Nissan Stadium as Wright approaches, and we're underway. Returnable from the 1 to the 5 to the 10 to the 15 to the 20 
He gets to the 25, the 26, fumbled the football, but I think the Titans got back on it. So no opening kickoff return for a touchdown and no drama for the Titans as Rodgers brings it out just beyond the 25. With the Titans going on offense first, it's time for the starting lineups, fueled by Five Hour Energy. Up front, left to right, Cater to Juan, Roger Saffold, Ben Jones, Nate Davis, David Quessenberry, tight ends Jeff Swaim and Michael Pruitt. Wide receivers Julio Jones, Cody Hollister, Nick Westbrook, Akita. Running backs Deontay Foreman and Dontrell Hilliard, and the quarterback is Ryan Tannehill. In the gun with an empty set to begin. Tannehill to throw. Fires down the middle, complete. Swaim with the catch. And Swaim, the former Jaguar, is out to the 35 for a gain of nine. Tackled by Wilson. On defense for the Jaguars, front three, Malcolm Brown, Devon Hamilton, Roy Robertson, Harris. Linebackers, Josh Allen, Miles Jack, Damian Wilson, Clavon Chason. Secondary, Shaquille Griffin, Tyson Campbell, Rayshon Jenkins, Andrew Wingard, Rudy Ford. Second and one at the 35. Foreman is the single back under center. Tannehill gives Foreman on the right side. He's hit by Jenkins, but he powers forward to the 37 for a first down, Titans. First down, they came out 11 personnel, then emptied the backfield and then threw a spacing route over the middle. Completely changed personnel group. Second one, brought the big people in, ran a little power old lead first down. They need to continue to eat chains like this. I like that start. Torrey Carter is the fullback. Foreman remains the tailback. From the 37 yard line, Westbrook Aquino motions. Give Foreman on the right side. He's across the 40 and after the 43, where Wingert makes the tackle. By formation, 21 personnel. Motion, fly motion, which means it goes all the way across the formation and just a straight lead to the tight to the tight end side. That was a nice, nice start. Gain of six on the play, second down and four. Titans moving right to left on your radio dial. Titans in all navy today. Julio Jones and Westbrook Aquino wide to the left. Hollister wide to the right on second and four. Jaguars acting as if they might blitz. Here they come. Tannehill dropping, looking, throwing. He's got it to Hollister. Hollister catches it for a short gain. Should be enough for a first down. Ford combines with Wilson to make the tackle just outside the 48-yard line, moving those chains. Moving the chains, but Jacksonville, they, they loaded the front then to stop the run, and then you could see with the single high safety, the single high safety was leaning to his right, and guess who was to his right? Julio Jones. Foreman is the back. Tight end either side, receiver either side against a five-man front on first down. Tannehill. Going to give it to Foreman on the left. Foreman will crease him into Jacksonville territory. Started at his 48, ends up at the 48 of the Jags. Tackle by Allen, it's second and six. So 12, per 12 personnel tight on both sides. They were a balanced formation. That was a single back power play with the guard, right guard pulling from right to left. Foreman, three carries, 11 yards to begin. Hilliard checks in. Both backs had over 100 yards two weeks ago in New England. Titans are using a multiple personnel groups early in this game in this first set of series. Wide to the left is Swaim, and now he motions inside. Second down. Tannehill dropping against the blitz in trouble throws, and he's hit as he throws. The pass is incomplete at the feet of Jones. It'll be third down and seven. Man who had the pressure was Gatsas, and another was Smoot. Too much pressure then, they collapse the cylinder from outside in. That cylinder collapsed around Tannehill's a four-man rush, collapsed around him from the outside in, need to firm up the edges on protection. Tannehill has begun two of three for 15 yards. He puts Hilliard on his left hip in the shotgun. Two receivers tight on either side. Now Ferks are in the game, motions to the right. So three receivers that way. Jacksonville rushes four. Tannehill steps up. He can run this thing. 45, 40, 35, and he will slide down short of the 30-yard line. Penalty markers come in. Wingert may have gone to the head of Tannehill as he went to slide. We'll wait for the call from Vinovich. 
Saffold is down well behind the play as well. Personal foul, defense number 42. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. So Saffold is going to have to come out of the game as the Titans will move into the pinnacle scoring zone. The official bank of the Titans pinnacle, titansbanking.com is the way you find out more about pinnacles winning plays. And already, less than 10 plays into it, Saffold will have to come out. And so for the 13th straight game, the Titans offensive line, the starters will not play every snap. They have not done it one time this year. Timeout on the field. Titans with the ball at the Jag 16 and a first down. Titans at the 16 yard line after the Tannehill run and the penalty on Wengert. Pinnacle sideline report, Amy Wells, Roger Saffold off the field. Could you see what they were looking at? Mike, they got him in the tent right now. It was a lot of talking on the field, so he was able to walk off under his own power. It looks like they might be looking at his neck or shoulder area. I'll let you know more when I get it. Thanks very much. Pruitt is the fullback. Foreman is the tailback. Now Pruitt moves to the left side into the tight end spot. At the 16, they run Foreman. Foreman not going to make much. Wilson is the man who wraps him up and drops him. Virtually no gain. 12 personnel, they just tried to run an inside zone, and, and they, uh, defender might slip the block inside of it, of, the, of our offensive line. Titans on the year in the red zone, 41 of 45 scoring, 28 of those touchdowns. Jacksonville's red zone defense, not fabulous. They have allowed 28 touchdowns in 44 opponent trips. Second and virtually 10, Tannehill calling it at the line. He's got a bunch set of three receivers tight to the right. Julio Jones wide left. Tannehill dropping. Looking. Swings it out. Foreman at the 12. Cut to the 10. Accelerates to the 5. And he's taken down where he has a first down. Jack with the tackle. Nice job by Ryan Tannehill. He checked that play at the line of scrimmage. Julio Jones ran a takeoff route on the outside. There's a lot of space in there. Really nice job then. Tannehill gets him on the ball first and goal at the 5. Barks him out. Jacksonville still in a four-man front. Foreman remains the running back. Tannehill gives Foreman a crack on the left side. He cuts it up. He drives it in. Touchdown, Titans! Deontay Foreman! Very methodical. That's exactly what you want. We said they needed to start fast. They came out multiple personnel groups, bloodied their nose a little bit. Exactly the start the Titans needed. Deontay Foreman from five yards to get it into the end zone. And for Foreman, that is his first touchdown of the year. So Randy Bullock is on to try the extra point. That drive, 74 yards, 457 off the clock. That's your Nissan drive summary. Nissan is the official auto partner of your Tennessee Titans. Bullock trying to get back on track after missing two kicks in New England. Kern is his holder. Snap, set. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So seven for number seven, Deontay Foreman, and the Titans lead 7-0. 10-03 remaining first quarter at Nissan Stadium. Tennessee has been one of the slowest starting teams in the NFL this season offensively. Not today. 74-yard drive for a touchdown on the game's opening possession to lead Jacksonville 7-0. Bullock kicking off to veteran Jadon Mickens. Mickens, the former Buck, lets it go for a touchback. And so here comes Trevor Lawrence and company on offense. His offensive line, Cam Robinson, Andrew Norwell, Tyler Shadley, Ben Barch, Jawan Taylor, tight ends, Chris Manhurts, James O'Shaughnessy, wide receivers, Marvin Jones, LaVisca Chenault, Laquan Treadwell, running back, James Robinson, and again, the quarterback, the number one pick overall in the 2021 draft from Clemson, it's Trevor Lawrence. Tavon Austin begins as one of the three wide receivers to the left. In the gun, Lawrence dropping, in trouble. Lawrence throws it up in the air and gets it away, but he is ruled down. He is sacked! 
Federico Autry will be credited with that. As he is ruled in the grasp at the 16, Autry now with six sacks on the year. And $100 to Second Harvest Food Bank from our friends at Kroger, the official tailgate headquarters of the Tennessee Titans. Loss of nine. Second and 19. Titans set to rush four. Lawrence, play fake, rolling to his right, firing. He's got it complete to Jones. Marvin Jones for eight yards to the 24-yard line. Buster Screen makes the tackle. He's now caught a pass in 110 straight games as we introduce the Titans defense. Jeffrey Simmons, Naquan Jones, Danico Autry, Harold Landry, Rashawn Evans, Jayon Brown, Buster Screen, Amani Hooker, Kevin Byard, Christian Fulton, Elijah Molden, Rick Maven. Had to get him in. Third and 11. Empty backfield for the mobile Lawrence. Lawrence dropping, firing quickly, gets it to Chenault, who's got a first down. As he crosses the 35 and is out to the 38-yard line, Mabin with the tackle. LaVisca, LaVisca Chenault on a quick glance on the outside. Now, this is a big receiver, and they're going to use him a lot of different places. They basically got him the ball five yards deep, and he ran through tacklers for the other five yards for the first down. Titans let him off the hook early. Back under center now, Lawrence trailing 7 to nothing. 8.03 to go first quarter. Give Robinson on the left, being chased, big deck! Taking him down, Landry with help from Evans for a loss. Rashawn Evans and Landry played that so well. Look, Robinson hurt this football team the last time we played them. That was an excellent job of setting the edge, building the wall. That's what you want. If they're going to run it on first down, they need to be looking at second and 14. The Titans starting Jayon Brown and Rashawn Evans together for the first time since the Arizona game. That's amazing. As a matter of fact, the Titans have 20 players in the active 48 today who did not play in the first game. 20. Quick pass, Chenault on the right side trying to turn the corner. Titans cut him down at the original line of scrimmage. Evans is there to take him down at the 38. And so it's going to be third and long again. Talk about Chenault. They used him in yo-yo motion then. Brought him back to the dot. Brought him back out. And we're going to see him in a lot of different places. They're going to try to get the ball in his hands a multitude of ways today. Third down and a long 10. Titans move Landry to the left side to rush the passer. They bump Autry inside. Titans showing blitz as a matter of fact. Lawrence looking it over. Pressure coming. Lawrence in trouble. Sack! Oh my goodness! A wave of navy blue led by Harold Landry the third and the Titans put another hundred in the bank for Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee from Kroger. That's what you call all up, all up, all out. That was a Titan tsunami right back on top of Lawrence's head. I love that. Logan Cook to punt on fourth and 19. Chester Rogers is deep. Snap is good. Cook's punt poor. Wobbler takes a funny bounce. Picked up at the 25 yard line by Rogers and he's taken down immediately. Good job by him to pick it up and save the Titans field position as Quarterman makes the tackle at the 24 yard line. Tight, Titans second try on offense. They lead seven to nothing, 5.42 to go first quarter. Good or bad, Coach Mack calls it. So look out referees. This is Titans Radio. Jacksonville had not given up a first possession touchdown to the opposition in the last five games. As a matter of fact, in their game at Los Angeles, they played very well early on defense. The Titans have done today just that. They have struck with a first possession touchdown to lead 7-0. Tennessee's second crack starts now. 
Tannehill rolls, throws, Westbrook Aquina with the catch. Westbrook Aquina outside the 30, dances down the sidelines outside Rudy Ford and gets up near the 39-yard line before he goes out of bounds. That's a gain of 15 by Westbrook Aquina on his 26th catch of the year. There was a half roll to the quarterback's left-hand side. It was a single receiver route. He was tipped on the sideline. If he could have kept his balance just a tad, he'd have had a longer gain. Hilliard is in the game in the left slot. On the left hip of the quarterback is Foreman, the other running back. Now Hilliard motions right on first down. Tannehill gives it to Foreman at left guard, and he goes jamming forward across the 40-yard line for three, maybe four. Allen with the tackle. Yeah, 20 personnel. That's pony personnel, two running backs in the ball game. What they're trying to do is remove one linebacker from the box by motioning Hilliard out and then run an inside zone. They did it. They did it very well for four yards. Second down and six. 4.42 to go first quarter. Again, if you're just joining us, Titans lead 7 to nothing. Foreman had a five-yard touchdown run. Receiver either side. Two tight ends now to the left. Six-man front for the Jaguars. Quick throw right side. It's Julio Jones, and he'll be tackled after a one-yard gain by Griffin. So Julio Jones appearing in his seventh game this year. Coming back off an injured reserve, battling hamstring problems. Last game was against the Rams on Sunday night football back on November 14th. This is third down and five. Three receivers to the left. McNichols in the game on the right hip of Tannehill in the gun. Looks like Brian jumped off sides. Encroachment, defense number 93. Five yard penalty, results in the, results in the first down. First and 10 for the Titans as Tannehill got him. Tannehill got him with the hard count. That's a veteran, veteran quarterback move. Got him with the hard count. Really nice. That five yards is, is big. Doesn't count as a third down conversion, but who cares? It's a first down. Correct. <laughs> Titans at their own 49 yard line. Carter is the fullback. Hilliard is the tailback. Play fake. Tannehill tries to screen it to Hilliard. Can't get it. It would have been a touchdown. But Tannehill was hit as he threw. And because he was hit with the blitzing Griffin coming after him, he threw it over the head of the receiver Hilliard. Just unfortunate for the Titans. We talked about the opener, about Joe Cullen, their defensive coordinator, bringing pressure from the secondary. There you saw it on first down, and it kept the touchdown from happening off of that throwback screen. There was literally no one over there for Jacksonville if the pass had been completed. Second and 10 at the 49. Anna Hill, play fake, dropping, fires deep down the middle, caught Julio Jones at the 35-yard line of Jacksonville. Griffin with the tackle, but it's a first down tight. Play action dig, play action dig, right over the middle of the football field. That's classic Julio Jones territory. Why is he so good at running that route, Coach? Big, long, good, nuanced runner. He can set the defender on the outbreak and then come back inside. Because you're afraid he's gonna go deep on you? You're afraid of everything. <laughs> you're right, I am. Second catch, not, not you, second catch of the drive for Julio Jones. First down, Titans at the 35. Jones is wide right, motioning to the right is Hollister. Carry for Hilliard at left guard. Hilliard down to the 32 yard line where Hamilton pushes him back, it's second and seven. Jaguars are loading up for the run on first down and then you saw him bring a blitz on first down, which was very successful against the throwback screen. They're gonna to continue to load that front on these early downs, I believe, Mike. That's what Joe Cullen is showing me early in this game. Jacksonville has done some good things on defense this year. They've got some good people. Three receivers to the left, two to the right, empty backfield. Tannehill at the Jaguar 32 on second and seven. Jacksonville again acting as if they might blitz. 
Tannehill feels it. Here they They're come. coming. Tannehill in trouble and sacked by Wilson back at the 40-yard line. Now they bogeyed that blitz to Tannehill's right side. He thought he was protected. Then they brought it from his left side and hit him right square in the face with it. Have got to get better at pre-snap of identifying where the edge pressure is going to come from. Loss of six on the play as they will spot the ball at the 38. It's third and 13. That's the way Joe Collin calls his defense, Mike. We're seeing it. We talked about it early on all week looking at it. This is what they're going to face all afternoon. Three receivers to the left, single receiver to the right on third and 13. Jacksonville coming. Quick throw, caught Westbrook Aquina, and he's down to the 29-yard line, four yards short of the first down. Tackle made by Jack, the field goal team on their way in. They brought five then and played zone behind it because it was third and chain. Third and chains, when I say that, I mean third and 10 plus. Going to be a 47-yard attempt for Randy Bullock, left hatch. The snapper is the four-time Pro Bowler, Morgan Cox. The holder is the three-time Pro Bowler, Brett Kern. The kicker is Randy Bullock. Snap, set, kick on the way. No good. Wide right. And so Jacksonville getting the sack, sees their defense hold with 37 seconds to go in the first quarter. This field goal gives Jacksonville the ball at the 37 yard line. As their defense gets a break with the missed kick, they trail 7 to nothing. 37 seconds left in the quarter. Jack Rabbit Jenkins out today for the Titans, taking his place at corner, the veteran Buster Screen. Now Buster Screen's been doing a nice job of, of, in practice. We get to watch him practice. He's assimilated very well into this team. Now he gets a chance. He's a veteran. This is a veteran football player that's had a lot of defensive snaps in his career. 5'9", 187, 11th year man out of Chattanooga. Robinson's the back. Lawrence is the quarterback. Receiver either side on first down. Lawrence under center. Gives Robinson a crack at right guard, and he's out near the 40-yard line. Tackled there by Roberson, Derek Roberson in the game. They were in 12 personnel and they put their heavy side to the Titans right and then ran an inside zone over there to the open side. That's where they're going to try to run and get the defense to squeeze over there to that strong side, try to hit a crease on the backside. Titans played that very well for a two yard game. Didn't do much well at New England, but Roberson might have played his best overall game as a Titan, not only rushing the passer, but playing the run, earning more snaps again today. First quarter's over after one, Titans seven, Jaguars nothing. It's time for a Titans Radio scoreboard update. One other AFC South matchup in progress. I'm Lucas Panzica. Houston trails Seattle 9-7 to at home with Ricky Davis Mills starting at quarterback already with a passing touchdown. A Chiefs scoop and score touchdown on the very first play put them in front of the Raiders. It's now 14 to nothing in Arrowhead Stadium. The 6-6 six six Browns leading the 8-4 Ravens in Cleveland 10 to nothing. Ravens DM Calais Campbell questionable to return with a thigh injury. Saints a 3 nothing lead over the New York Jets on the road. Dallas on top of Washington, 3 to nothing in the NFC East. And Carolina and Atlanta tied up at 7 in Charlotte. Cam Newton and Cordero Patterson trading touchdowns. Here at 7 nothing, Titans after 1. Titans outgained the Jags in the first quarter, 101-7. to 41 rushing yards for Tennessee, 60 passing, 10-02. Time of possession. The Jags, 1 yard rushing, 8 yards passing. Trevor Lawrence, 3 of 3 for 25 yards. He was sacked twice. For the Titans, Deontay Foreman, six carries, 20 yards and a touchdown. Ryan Tannehill sharp to begin, seven of nine for 67 yards, but he was hit a couple times and sacked, which hurt the Titans on their second possession. On second down, Robinson again with a carry. He finds a little room up the middle and is out just short of the 45-yard line. Tackled there by... Jayon Brown, it'll bring up third down and a long two. That was a roll cut back. It was a roll to the defense's left and it cut back to their right. They brought a, a receiver across to wham block to try to hold the edge. Jacksonville trying to spread the Titans out so they go five defensive backs. 
three receivers to the left, Treadwell, Jones, and Chenault. Austin wide to the right, Lawrence in the gun. Lawrence gonna throw it. Looking, steps up, fires, got it complete to Austin. Byard will tackle him as he gets into Titans territory at the 48-yard line. Run a nine-ball stack. Looked like a triangle to the right side on the Titans, a three-man triangle. What a nine-ball stack is, and they ran a spacing route. The thing that made that thing come open is that the quarterback was able to maneuver and move up into the cylinder and let that inside route clear. That's one of his special traits, right? Yes, absolutely. He's tall enough, Mike, to see, and then he can manipulate the pocket up inside the cylinder. At the Titans, 48. Lawrence, play fake and a deep drop. Looking deep, gonna screen it out, O'Shaughnessy. Coming to the left, O'Shaughnessy will be taken down on a great tackle by Landry inside the 45 at the 43. It's a gain of five. Again, another another fake rollback screen. That's a throwback screen. Very similar to what the Titans were trying to do, except this was a single tight end screen over here with nobody out in front of him. Tried to draw all the defense to the defensive left and throw back to the defensive right. O'Shaughnessy's a 250-pound mobile tight end. If Landry doesn't make that tackle, it's a huge game. Nice play in space by Landry. It's He's a multiple player. Second down and five. Empty backfield. Titans rush four. Lawrence steps up under pressure. Hit as he throws deep downfield over the head of Jones and incomplete. There is a penalty marker back at the 50 yard line thrown by the umpire. Would be third and five, see if Rabel takes it. Holding, offense number 68. 10 yard penalty, repeat second down. Gotta take it. Yeah, he did. That'll be second and 15, taking the ball back in Jaguar territory at the 47 yard line. A Daney is gonna come in to rush the passer now. Greg Mapin will come in as another defensive back. They've got enough healthy legs today, Mike. They can start getting a defensive rush rotation across the front. Something new. Something new. Or so it feels on second and 15. Lawrence throws quickly. Austin with the catch. Hooker with a good tackle. Really good tackle at the Titans 46 yard line. Third down. Nice play by Hooker in the open field. Tavon Austin probably still, even at his advanced years in the league, one of the most deceptive and one of the hardest to take down in the open field. Nice job then by Hooker. 7-0 Titans, 12-15 to go first half. Third down and eight at the Titans 46. Jacksonville two of three on third down. Lawrence is in the gun. Lawrence going to give it off to Hyde, who is taken down at the Titans 44. First contact from Jeff Simmons. Autry finishes it. Brian Schottenheimer there, the offensive coordinator, he was expecting an all-out rush. He was trying to get the handoff so that he could just split it. And it. Clearly, it didn't work for him, and it looked like it might have been an option because the quarterback held on to it a long time in the pocket. Clearly, it wasn't successful, which makes me real happy. Fourth and six, you got to watch Logan Cook. He's a good passer, three of three in his career. The punter set to catch the snap. Keep an eye on it. He's going to end over and kick this. Asking for and making a fair catch is Rodgers at the 12, and that's where the Titans will start. 7 0 Tennessee, 11 14 remaining first half. 7 Jacksonville, nothing. 55th meeting between these. Two rivals, Titans lead the series 33-21, including 17-9 at Nissan Stadium. Jacks have not won here since 2013, and overall the Titans have won eight of the last nine. Most interesting in this series, again, 55th game, there's never been an overtime game between Tennessee and Jacksonville. That's unusual when you play somebody that many times for there not to at least have been one overtime, especially at the divisional game. 
and how heated some of these games have been over the years. Absolutely. Titans at their own 12 with an I formation. Julio Jones wide to the right. Westbrook Aquina wide left. Against a five-man front. Tannehill going to give it to Foreman on the left side. And Deontay is across the 15, out to the 18. Smoot with the tackle. By formation, they moved the Z receiver, which is to the tight end side, in to be an extra blocker. That was just a power lead out of the eye. Titans get on the ball. Receivers flip-flop sides. Jacksonville trying to get lined up on second down and four. Tannehill calling it at the line with 10.44 to go in the half. Gonna give it to Foreman again on the right side. Foreman's got room. 20, 25, 26, and down. Wingert with the tackle, but it's a first down, Tennessee. You can definitely hear Oscar Oscar, which means opposite of what is called in the huddle. Oscar Oscar was opposite. Clearly, they had a call to the left. They went to the right. Again, no huddle. Titans stay in the eye. Jags put eight in the box. Play fake. Tannehill looking, firing. There he is. Jones run out of bounds by Campbell as he catches it on the left side with the first down at the 38. There's the danger of Julio Jones. You asked me earlier why he's so hard to cover inside. That's so why he's so hard to cover outside. He's such a nuanced runner at the top of his route. He put the corner on his heels on that deep out. Third catch for Jones. Titans get on the ball at the 38 with another first down. Jags with a five-man front. They step a couple out of the box as the Titans stay in the eye. Give Foreman on the left. Trying to cut. Is able to ram his way to the 40-yard line for two yards. It'll be second down and eight. Tackled by Bryant. Weak side lead. They got they got ganged up on over there by the Jacksonville defense then. By the way, I did not have a chance to mention in the last series, Roger Saffold has come back in at left guard. So great news for the Titans. Second and eight. Tannehill rolling. Looking. Looking. Penalty marker down as Tannehill going to run it out of bounds in front of Chase on to the 45-yard line. See what this is all about. Holding, defense number 45. Five-yard penalty from the end of the run, automatic first down. That works. Well, that's why Tannehill on that half roll did not have anybody to throw to because he got held. Because Chase Sun reached out and grabbed someone. So five yards from the end of the play. Well, should put football right in the midst of the fireball at midfield. Tannehill running has been effective so far in this game. Two carries, 22 yards. He's always run well against Jacksonville. As a matter of fact, he's always played well against Jacksonville. In eight games against them, 70% completions for over 1,800 yards, 15 touchdowns, just two interceptions, and 33 carries for 212 yards. That's six and a half a pop. And a couple scores. That's very productive. You're right. He's been very productive against this team. Sometimes playing an opponent that you're really good against helps you to get out of a little bit of a funk. It does a little bit. And as you well know, Mike, you've done enough games in your career. Some people just match up better against some teams. True. Hilliard is in at running back. First down at midfield. 8.55 to go in the half. Tannehill, flip play, Hilliard on the left. Hilliard cuts it up and then gets buried. Three yards on the play. Gotsis with the stop. Run a little sugar motion with the receiver away from that play. That's a belly flip. They've got a play coming off of that. You can, you can bet that later on. That was a deceptive and then a belly flip. They'll have a play action coming off of that. At the 47 of the Jags, Hollister wide to the left. Three tight ends to the right. Foreman is back in at running back. By Cole Pruitt, motions left. Carter will now settle in front of Foreman. Titans in an old school eye. They give Foreman a carry on the left. 
Nice cut, not much, as he is able to drive forward and somehow get four yards. Nice effort. That's a great effort. You mentioned Roger Saffold was back in the game. Roger Saffold was downfield then, giving extra push. That's how it came up. You got Foreman and Saffold, that's a lot of meat down there pushing you forward. Third down and three, the Titans bring in five new people on offense. Jacksonville stays with what they had as McNichols, who's missed the last two games with a concussion, is coming in to help with blitz pickup. Panahill in the gun. Panahill drops, looks, fires, caught. First down, tight. That's Berkshire. He needed three, he got five, the chains move. That's exactly what we need him to do, and they did a nice job then of spreading the second level of defense out and finding a spot. Offense is sharp today, coach. And they need to continue to be sharp. I mean, they have to build on something. It's really important, and we talked about it earlier in the opener. Build on something this game after the bye. This drive, 28 yards rushing, 17 passing, as the Titans are now at the Jaguars, 38 with a first and 10. They empty the backfield. Tannehill is in the gun. Tannehill with a blitz coming, fires, got to complete to Foreman. 35, and Foreman is taken down by Wingard at the 34-yard line, gate of four. Getting it to Foreman out there, that's just like a tall sweep, getting him out there in the open, and they basically disregarded him, and they were going to break up on him. That's why he was so wide open, but he got four yards out of him. Racy McMath is checking in at wide receiver, the rookie from LSU. And now he's checking right back out. He wasn't supposed to go in the game as Westbrook Akina comes back in. Well, he'll get a chance. Tannehill, three of three on this drive for 21 yards. I formation on second down and six. Hollister wide right, Westbrook Akina wide left. They give it to Hilliard on the right side and he didn't get much, maybe two. Carter has hurt himself. The fullback is grabbing his right leg as Carter is down and Nate Davis is limping back to the huddle, but he appears to be okay. So Torrey Carter working at the fullback position got hurt on the play immediately grabbing his leg, timeout. Third down upcoming. Titans in Jacksonville territory with a seven nothing lead, 537 left in the half. AFC South battles or whoever the Titans face, our team brings the action of your team. On your home for Titans football, 104.5 The Zone. Torrey Carter immediately to the tent with a right ankle injury. The Titans have third down and four at the Jacksonville 32. Five and a half minutes to go, first half. Titans lead 7-0. Three receivers to the left. Tannehill looks that way, fires, man is open. Ferkser, 25, and he has run out of bounds with his first down. Ford with the tackle. Jacksonville tried to play man-to-man, -man, then they lost Ferkser in the cluster. That was a very, very well-designed play. Twenty-three yard line is where the Titans have it. Julio Jones wide to the left. Westbrook Aquina and Hollister to the right. Foreman is back in at running back. Swain motions to the right. Give Foreman on the right side. Tries to turn the corner. Great tackle there by Griffin to get him down after he picks up a couple. That was a tremendous tackle by Griffin. He's their best secondary player, one of the better defensive backs in the league. Missed the last two games with a concussion. They like having him back in. Foreman hurting a little bit after that stop. Looks to be holding his left side in an awkward manner, and so Hilliard checks in along with McNichols. He has taken a knee on the sideline. Tannehill. Going wide to the left, McNichols is set up to take the snap. Hilliard is on his left hip, and Mike Vrabel does not like the way that looks at all. He says, timeout, please. 3.59 to go in the quarter, in the half. 
Titans with second down and long just outside the Jacksonville 20. Tennessee leads 7-0. Titans 7, Jaguars nothing, 3.59 to go in the first half. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the NFL. This is Titans Radio. This is your official home for Titans football. Touchdown, Titans! WGFX-FM Gallatin, Nashville. 104.5 The Zone. Amy Wells, Pinnacle Sideline Report. Two Titans running backs dinged. Yep, Tory Carter is in the locker room. Dante Foreman on the sideline. They were looking at his left elbow, but he's up and moving around with his helmet on. All right, good news there. Titans with second down and nine at the 22. Tannehill drops, throws, goes for Julio Jones, and the pass is incomplete. I think he expected Jones to be somewhere else. Jack defending. No, well, what Jack, uh, Jack was a low hole rat. A low hole rat was looking for that crosser all the way. So third down and long at the 22. Titans began this drive at their own 12-yard line like an hour and a half ago. 3.55 remains in the half. Matter of fact, seven minutes, 15 seconds ago. Two receivers to the left. Ferks are motions left. Tannehill on a delay handoff and Cracked right away as McNichols, and he's hit by Wilson for a loss. The Titans trying to sneak him through as the blitz was coming. Nice job by Wilson on the read. There's the blitz all the way. He was wide open on the blitz. They were trying. To, they were think they were, were playing coverage. They did not get coverage. They got pressure with the blitz in the B gap. Bullock missed a field goal from 47 yards away with 37 seconds left in the first quarter. This will be a 44-yarder right hatch. Snap, set, Bullock's kick is up and his kick is good! Randy Bullock, good from 44 yards away. And your new score, Titans 10, Jaguars nothing. 3-10 remaining first half. Bullock hits the kickoff well through the end zone for a touchback. And so the Jaguars will start first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Nissan drive summary, 15 plays, 62 yards, 8.04 off the clock. Nissan is the official auto partner of the Tennessee Titans. 10-0 Titans, 3-10 to go in the half. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Lawrence in the gun. Lawrence takes the direct snap, looking to his left in trouble, steps out and throws it away. Thunder a lot of heat. Simmons was coming with pressure. Second down and 10 at the 25. Yeah, they had him backing up from the shotgun. He was in the gun, then they had him retreating and backing up. A lot of good pressure on him. Made him, made him retreat vertically in the cylinder. Simmons, 45 quarterback pressures this year to go with seven and a half sacks. Chenault in the backfield with Lawrence on second down. Quick throw, Austin on the left side. He tries to cut it up. Titans running down after about three yards. Landry with another tackle. Nine ball stack, and then they tried to throw the flash screen there. They're trying to get away from the pressure. The Titans are bringing them. That's one way to get away from pressure. Get the ball on the perimeter quick. Titans have nine players back from injury today overall, but just as valuable. Guys like Landry getting a week off who have been playing. Yeah, it, it was all valuable. That that off date could not have come at a better time. Three receivers to the right, two to the left, empty backfield on third down and seven. Jags two of four on third downs. Lawrence firing, got it to Chenault. He is tackled at the 40-yard line by Brown, has his first down. Titans brought all out pressure, Chenault. That's their guy, that's their release valve, that's who they're gonna go to on those types of situations. We've already seen it three times this afternoon. We've reached the two minute warning presented by Delta Dental. 
Delta Dental of Tennessee covers your eyes and your smile. Visit DeltaDentalTN.com to learn more. Jacksonville, just ahead. Stats, scores, cover two with Coach Mack. It's all on the way on Titans Radio's Halftime Report, powered by the Tennessee Lottery. That happens here in a few minutes. Jaguars have first and 10 at their 40-yard line. Quarterback Trevor Lawrence, 8 of 9, 59 yards, sacked a couple of times. He's hit Chenault for 29 yards on three catches. Austin, 3 for 17. Marvin Jones, 1 for 8. James O'Shaughnessy, 1 for 5. Jacksonville just hasn't had the ball that much. 9.54, their time of possession here with two minutes remaining in the half. Lawrence dropping the fire, and it's batted away. Went for Jones, and Screen got it out of there. Second and 10. Really nice coverage by Buster Screen. Really quick on the inside move and great body position to take that thing away. Nice play, Buster Screen. Jack's going without a huddle. With a minute 55 to go in the half. Lawrence firing for Jones. Catches it in front of Fulton for a short grab. And is taken to the ground as Fulton did a good job to get him down after a gain of three at second and seven. Fulton was, Fulton was right in face with him all the way. Nice coverage by Fulton. A minute 35 and counting. Treadwell out, Austin in. Jags have all three timeouts, Titans with two. You gotta watch Chenault again. Austin, Chenault, and O'Shaughnessy to the right. Jones to the left. Robinson in the backfield on the left hip of Lawrence. Lawrence from the gun. Lawrence flushed out, in trouble. Big chase, trying to step up, and he is taken down after a one-yard gain. Nice tackle there by Adaney. Timeout, Tennessee, with a minute seven to go as the Jags face fourth and six. Excellent, excellent pressure on third down. He nearly, he never had a chance to set his feet. Once he set his, his back foot hit the ground, even though he was in the shotgun getting ready to throw, he had to flush right. Really good pressure. Rogers is deep. <laughs> to catch the punt from Logan Cook. And again, the Titans on high alert. Craig Ackerman, the special teams coach, keeping an eye on the big athletic punter. 6'5", 230, fourth year man from Mississippi State. This is a great place to fake in a 10 nothing game. Well, think about it too, Mike. What does Jacksonville have to lose by not playing all of those options? Certainly you would feel like Urban Meyer at this moment, probably ready to be very aggressive with all that's going on. On fourth down, Snap to Cook. He does punt it. It's nearly blocked. Takes a funny bounce and will actually go inside the 10. Bad luck for the Titans as Joe Jones may have gotten part of that punt or he nearly got there, let's say. And it goes out of bounds at the eight yard line with 58 seconds to go. Thought for a second that Cook was gonna have his second punt blocked in a month. Yeah, well, and. It as you say, with that bounce, they were able to flip the field position. He was able to get it off, and then it took kind of a corkscrew bounce to the right. So that was very fortunate for Jacksonville. Titans with McNichols on the left hip of Tannehill at their own eight yard line. Two receivers either side. Now Ferkser motions to the left, comes back to the right. Jacksonville set to rush four. Tannehill gonna throw it. Fires it short, Ferkser to the 15. Stiff arm, Ferkser will be taken down at the 19 with a first down, Jack with the tackle. Titans get on the ball with 45 seconds to go. Eight of 11 on the play. Tannehill sets everyone, 38 seconds, snaps it. Tannehill, under pressure, dumps it, it hits a man in the head and it's an incomplete pass. Everybody's scrambling, but it was an incomplete pass with 30 seconds to go. Game clock to 33 seconds. They reset the game clock to 33 seconds. Ball at the Titans, 19, second down at 10. 
Jacksonville with all three timeouts. They had a man come totally free smooth. Again, Joe Cullen continues to keep his foot on the accelerator pressure-wise. Tannehill in the gun. Takes the snap. Pressure coming. Throw complete to Rogers to the 26. Penalty marker down. Campbell with the tackle. Offside. Defense over 91. Line up in the neutral zone. Five yard penalty. Repeat second down. So this will move the football. Instead of third down and three, this will move it to the 24 and it'll be second down and five. Jacks five penalties in the first half for 40 yards. Titans zero for zero. 27 seconds remaining. Titans with a timeout. Jags with three timeouts. Tennessee leads 10 to nothing. Bunch set of three receivers to the right. Hollister wide left. Tannehill dropping, throwing across the middle, dropped by Ferguson. Just a stone cold drop at the 28 yard line. Tried to run before he caught it. He was wide open in the middle there. You've got to catch it. You've got to catch it before you can run with it. He tried to do opposite. McMath comes into the game. Rodgers is out on third down and five with 23 seconds to go. The other issue with that drop is it stopped the clock. Julio Jones not in the game right now. They're pacing him just a little bit this afternoon. Here's third down and five. Tannehill flushed out to his right. Rolling, 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 and he will be sacked by Smoot. Back at the 17-yard line. Clock keeps running, and Jacksonville gets a timeout with roughly 12 seconds to go. Nobody open, coach? Nobody was open, and the field was cut in half. Nobody was open on him then. Spook was able to cut the angle off and run him down. But the thing that killed that drive, you can't have, a, you can't have two things in the two minute for your offense, drops and sacks. Well, it was going to be a nice game for Ferkser if he catches that ball across the middle. He's got the first down easily. Well, it's the first down easy, and that's what you wanted out of it. As I said, the two direct killers of Two-minute offense, drops and sacks. He's got a dangerous return, man, as they reset the clock to 14 seconds. Jadon Mickens, who was with Tampa, they let him go. Jacksonville signed him on November 24th. Brett Kern going to get his first punt of the game. Titans have fresh gunners this week, Crookshank and McMath back. For Kern, the big thing is get this punt off. Snap is good, punt is away. Doesn't hit it very well, just a knuckler in the middle of the field. It hits in Titans territory and will continue to bounce, running the clock down to two seconds as they down it at the 48 yard line. So poor punt by Kern of just 35 yards, but it does run off 12 seconds. Ran off 12 seconds, he just hit that thing really, really badly. So now the Jaguars have a chance to throw one in the end zone. Maben is deep, Screen is deep, Hooker and Byard are deep, Molden and Fulton are deep. Well, this will go up to Chenault down deep. I, I guarantee you this, this quarterback's got enough arm to throw it. He sure far. does. Well, Chenault's a guy that scares you if you throw it to him in the middle of the field, he could get it in the end zone. Titans with eight defensive backs on the field. Titans gonna blitz. Here's the throw to Jones at the 40, at the 30, at the 25, and Jones is tackled by Chris Jones at the 21 as the half ends. Titans 10, Jacksonville nothing at halftime. First half Titans action. In the end zone, one hand, block, block on Titans Radio. Put this one in the bank. Sacks! 
Brought to you exclusively by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Back at Nissan Stadium, getting ready for the second half of this. Some of the numbers here. Deontay Foreman, 11 carries, 42 yards. Ryan Tannehill, 2 for 22. Tannehill passing 12 of 17, 107 through the air. Julio Jones, 5 targets, 3 catches, 29 yards. A couple of quarterback sacks in this by the Titans defense already. Team-wise, both teams 3 of 6 on third down. Tennessee has outgained Jacksonville 162 to 84 yards. Time of possession overwhelming. Nearly an eight-minute differential there. Only one penalty for the Titans in this first half. Three for Jacksonville. Uh, I'm sorry, no penalties in the first half for Tennessee. Five for 40 for Jacksonville. The Jags, they won the toss. They elected to defer their option here to the second half, so they will get the ball to start the third quarter. And to call this game, here's the voice of the Titans, Mike Keith, and, of course, Coach Dave McGinnis. All right, so the Titans keep the ball for more than eight minutes than the Jags in the first half. The only real problem the Titans had is they had such poor field position. They had long fields to, to, to traverse. They missed a field goal as well, which was a scoring opportunity. But this first defensive series going to be most important for the Titans. Well, it's extremely important. And they did a they did a decent job on third down. I mean, 50% is not going to get what you want on defense. And they let them convert two third chains. They need to get these people out on third and whatever right now on this series. And then that will help them with their field position, I believe, Mike. Mickens is drifting deep. Bullock will kick off for the Titans. We mentioned that he missed a 47-yarder. He made a 44-yarder. So on the year, Bullock is 19 of 23 on field goals which is about the league average at about 82, 83%. What's amazing for the average of kickers in this league is how many extra points have been missed. It's down to 92.5% make rate, which is the lowest it's been. Bullock cracks that one through the end zone for a touchback. Here comes young Lawrence onto the field. Trevor, 10 of 12, 93 yards. He was boosted by a 31-yard gain at the end of the half. That's their first 30-yard pass play, 30 or more yard pass play since the Titans game nine weeks ago. Wow, that was some garbage yards though too. Exactly. But they have had trouble making big plays in the passing game. Robinson didn't get a lot of work in that first half. Three carries, four yards. He's on the right hip of Lawrence. Staying in the shotgun. Titans in a four-man front. Quick throw, right side O'Shaughnessy. Nice cut. He's up to the 32-yard line. Byard was the first man there. Ball comes out. It's rolling free. Titans are trying to get on it. And they are at the 23-yard line. The question is, was O'Shaughnessy down? Evans ripped it out. The ruling on the field is the runner's forward progress was stopped. Second down. The runner's forward progress was stopped. Wow. Well, I don't know about that. You can't challenge forward progress. I was progress getting ready to say either. you can't challenge it. So the Jags get seven yards on a play where the Titans look to have a takeaway. Second down and three. Brable hot. Lawrence. Going to give Robinson a crack and the Titans will get him down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Tackle made by 98 Simmons. It'll be third and three. Excellent, excellent defense on the left defensive side against that lag draw. Excellent defense. They've even lost about a half yard. So let's call it third down and four. The line to make is the 35. Titans lead 10 to nothing as we're a minute into the third quarter here in Nashville. Jacksonville puts Hyde in the backfield. He's a good pass catcher. Six defensive backs for the Titans. Lawrence stays in the gun. Lawrence looking. 
Lawrence firing. Jones wide open, makes the catch, and is out of bounds at the 45-yard line. A lot of time, and he got it to it. Yeah, it's too much time to throw, plus that was free access for Jones out there. He was the widest receiver to the defense's right side. So good game for the Jaguars of 14 yards. They're now four of seven on third downs. Jones wide to the left with O'Shaughnessy. Chenault and Treadwell wide to the right. Pistol formation. Lawrence with Robinson behind him. Give, pitch back, Chenault, pitch back, Lawrence. Deep throw, O'Shaughnessy, incomplete. What a play by Bayard to knock O'Shaughnessy loose at the 35-yard line. That's a major league play by a major league free safety. Major league. What's really impressive about Bayard is he was going with the right hand all the way to get the ball out because he knew he had no play on the ball. That's a veteran move. Oh, that was a big time move. Second down and 10. Lawrence gonna throw it. Fires across the middle, ball, intercepted on a tip. Evans, Evans will be taken down at the 43 yard line of the Titans. As the ball is tipped up in the air and Rashad Evans back for the first time since the Kansas City game is able to come up with his second INT of this campaign. Turnover, yes sir. Trevor Lawrence threw LaVisca Chenault, the fastball, going across the middle. It bounced off Chenault's hands with Elijah Molden defending and went up in the air to Rashawn Evans, who picks it off. Good to see him back. Titans take over at their own 44, moving right to left on your radio dial. Hilliard is the running back. Tight end either side, receiver either side, against a five-man front. Hilliard gonna get a carry on the right side. Hilliard hit hard and taken down. Good tackle by Smoot. Gain of a couple, maybe three. Smoot right now has been an issue for the offensive front. Here comes McMath into the lineup. Foreman had 11 carries for 42 yards in the first half. Appeared to injure an elbow, is up and is standing on the sidelines, but has not returned to action. Second and seven. Tannehill gives Hilliard. Wilson gets him down after he gained a yard. Again, this defensive front, uh, they were loaded up. Single high safety was about 17, 18 yards deep. Everybody else, except who was covering the wide receivers, were stacked in the tackle box. Julio Jones re-enters the lineup on third down. Titans lead 10 to nothing. 11.47 to go in the third. McNichols is set to take on the blitzers as he's in the backfield. And they're coming. Three receivers to the left. Here they come. Quick throw. Making the catch is Julio Jones, and he's taken down at the 48 of the Jaguars. Short of the first down by a couple yards. Titans going to run the punt team back out there in a 10-0 game. Tackle was made by Winker. Yeah, they just didn't have a chance on that quick slant. Had too much yardage to gain. And they brought pressure, but they were playing the sticks. Talking about the Jacksonville defense. Fourth down and two. Mickens is deep. Jacksonville leaves their defense out there. Kearns first punt, 35 yards. This one an end over ender. Mickens asks for and makes the fair catch at his own 11 yard line. Jacksonville able to stave off the Titans offense after the takeaway. They get the ball back, backed up. 10 nothing your score, Tennessee in front. 10.47 to go in the third. So many moments delivered to you. Every time the Titans play, this is Titans Radio. 
the zone. Jacksonville's second possession of the second half begins at their 11-yard line. 10.47 left in the third quarter. Titans 10, Jaguars nothing. Robinson is the back. Lawrence under center. Lawrence going to give it to Robinson on the left side, and he runs into trouble and is taken down by Simmons for no gain. Great play by Jeffrey Simmons. He completely shed the man in front of him. That was, that was classic shock and shed, made the tackle. Great play by Simmons. Jacksonville going hurry up from their own 11, second down and 10. Three receivers to the right. Rolling right is Lawrence. He throws for Treadwell, and Treadwell is hit and driven backwards as he makes the catch at the 16-yard line. Molden is there along with Screen. It's third down and five. His third down guy, his third down pressure valve has been Chenault. They must make it to the 21-yard line. Nabin is now in at corner as the Titans go six defensive backs. Titans show blitz. Lawrence takes the snap, looking, firing. He's got it to Chenault, who has his first down to the 22-yard line. Brown with the tackle. That's where it's going on third down. They're five of eight on third down. That's too much. 9.20 to go in the third. Ball rests at the 22. Chenault continues to be very involved. First game, he had one catch for 58 yards. In this game, already four for 34. Empty backfield. Robinson, one of the receivers wide to the right. Three to the left. Lawrence makes the call. He's in the shotgun. Lawrence looks fires quickly and it's Jones with a five yard catch to the 38 fired and screen are there together second and five they're going empty they're spreading everything out and the ball's coming out of his hand so quickly even though they're bringing pressure they don't have time to get there they bring in a tight end man hurts most of the game they've used O'Shaughnessy who's playing in only his fifth game this year after having had ankle problems Second down. Lawrence takes the snap, rolls out to his left, looking, and throws it away. Excellent defense by Molden on Chennault. They cut the field in half. He, he rolled away from his throwing hand, and the coverage and the sideline didn't allow him to complete anything over there. 8-14 remaining in the third. It's third down. Let's call it six. They've got to get it to the 32. Ball rests just outside the 26. Hyde is on the right hip of Lawrence. The rookie from Clemson. Lawrence, feeling heat up the middle, throws deep downfield and the pass is incomplete. Intended for Austin, screen and hooker with the coverage. Nice job then. What they were able to do then, because they reduced their splits, they were able to constrict the coverage and then made him back up again vertically in the cylinder. When he has to back up vertically in the cylinder, you've got a chance to have an off-target throw. Rodgers is deep for this punt from Logan Cook. Cook had one blocked on November 14th by Atlanta. Titans double press the near side gunner. Snap is good, punt is away. Wobbly spiral that does not turn over. Rogers from the 29 yard line is taken down at the 31 yard line. Matisic, the man who snapped it, is in on the tackle. Jaguar is down on the play. 8.01 to go in the third, Titans up 10 nothing. Coach Mack has his eyes on the officials for you. This is Titans Radio. Titans will scrimmage at their own 31-yard line, first down at 10, 8.01 to go in the third. Titans 10, Jaguars nothing. Foreman is back in the game at running back. 
11 carries, 42 yards for Foreman, who has the Titans' only touchdown on a five-yard run. Play fake. Tannehill rolling, looking, stepping up, throws it away. He was being taken to the ground by Robertson Harris, and he threw it over the head of Foreman out of bounds. That's a good move by him just to get it out of his hand then. 13 of 19, Tannehill, 111. No touchdowns or interceptions. He's been sacked twice. Tight end either side, receiver either side on second down and 10 against the five-man front. Foreman coming to the left. Jack sitting on it, taking him down after a gain of just a yard, Brown with the tackle. Jacksonville front has really given the Titans some problems with pressure and also in the run game. They've been very stout in the run game. Joe Cullen is their defensive coordinator. His background, Baltimore. Baltimore, and, he, and that's that's exactly the type of defense that they play. The, the Smoot kid from Illinois, fifth-year player out of Illinois, is really playing well for him today down front. Titans expecting a blitz on third down and nine. Tannehill in the gun. Tannehill takes the snap. Pressure coming. He fires downfield. It's caught. And it's Ferkser making the catch and rolling over across the 41 yard line. Tackle by Wilson. Should be enough for a first down, and it is. Well, what a great play by Ryan Tannehill. That was all Tannehill then. That was an extremely aware and athletic play by Tannehill. Saffold is down. Second time in the ball game. The Titans' left guard is down, and the training staff going to have to come out and check on him as the Titans have just picked up a first down with 6.41 to go in the third. And so Saffold will have to step out, and we will as well time out on the field. 6.41 to go in the third. Aaron Brewer is in it, left guard. Pinnacle sideline report, Amy Wells, Roger Saffold's status. Uh, he is currently in the tent. He's being evaluated. As soon as I get something official, I will pass it along. Does it look like it's that shoulder neck thing again? It does. It looks like they're looking at his neck shoulder area in that same spot. Okay, thanks, Amy. Titans with a first down at the 42-yard line. Hilliard is the running back. Titans in an eye. Now Pruitt. Join Swaim on the left side. Jags have eight in the box. Hilliard coming to the left, puts on a cut, can't get away from Chase on, and is taken down for a loss of a yard. Titans went 13 personnel then, trying to get a little bit more beef up there to be able to push. They got beat off of the edge then by Chase on. As we continue from Nissan Stadium, we pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Titans Football 2021. This is Titans. This is your official home for Titans football. Touchdown, Titans! WGFX FM, Gallatin, Nashville. 1045, the zone. Second down, 11 Titans at their own 41 yard line, leading 10 to nothing, 545 to go in the third. Tannehill, play fake, screening it. Swaim on the left side, puts a cut on, 45-50, 45-40. Swaim is taken down at the 35-yard line on a tackle by Jenkins. What a call by Todd Downing. And a penalty marker, I believe, has come in as well. Personal foul, low block. Defense number 41, 15-yard penalty from the end of the run, automatic first down. Dave McGinnis, what is that call now? Please explain. Uh, on the perimeter, you cannot cut an offensive lineman coming downfield to block you. You used to be, that was the tactic we would use. You would take a smaller man and cut a bigger man. You cannot do that now, 15-yard penalty. Takes the ball to the 20-yard line, and so really a great call to Swain on what was a sensational play for the Titans on second down and 11, and a really big gainer as Swain's second catch of this game. 
Bob Downing showed some patience by not coming back to that throwback screen too early. He had it wide open in, in early in the game. He showed great patience by saving it. 24-yard gain and a 15-yard penalty. Tap pass. McMath around right end to the 15, and McMath will be run out of bounds by Jenkins and Jack as they will call him out at the nine, or make that the 11, nine-yard gain on the play as the Titans have entered the Pinnacle scoring zone. Pinnacle is the official banking partner of your Tennessee Titans. The place you get that Titans checking. Go to titansbanking.com to learn more. First catch for Racy McMath. Well, it's nice to see him back because you could see his speed then. That's what he brings. That's the element that he brings to this team is speed. It's nice to have him back. Hilliard is the running back. On second down and one at the 11. Tannehill, play fake, looking, throwing in the end zone. Oh, it's through the hands of Swaim and incomplete. Just a little high, and Swaim just could not get the arms all the way extended. Uh, Tannehill, Tannehill had him. Tannehill got hit pretty hard then, too. Swaim had that thing go through his hands. It was a tad bit high, but still, you probably... You'd like to see him catch that, but he did. Obviously. Smoot with another big hit on Tannehill. I want to block him. Smoot's been a problem today. Tannehill trying to get everybody set on third down and one. Sneak, Tannehill, first down. You know what, that sneak, now everybody might think that's just a sneak. Tannehill is a one tough dude. He just got racked right then. Now, he was then willing to stick his back foot in the ground and push forward. That's a tough dude, Tannehill. That's Ryan Tannehill. 4-12 to go in the third. Titans lead 10-0. They have first and goal at the nine. Julio Jones has entered, looking for his first touchdown as a Titan. He's wide to the left with Westbrook Aquina. Foreman is the running back. Jones motions to the right. Tannehill dropping, looking, scrambling to his right, turning it down the field, fires into the end zone, caught! Ruled out of bounds. Pruitt had it, but he is ruled out of bounds. Ran out of, ran out of grass over there on, that, on the right side, on the, on the sideline in the end zone. Would have been his fourth touchdown catch of the year. Really nice job by Tannehill to evade the rush and make an accurate throw. But Pruitt did step up. He didn't even get one down. No. <laughs> no argument there. I formation. Foreman is the running back on second and goal at the nine. Tannehill gives Foreman on the left side to the five, and he's taken down. Making the tackle is Hamilton. It'll be third and goal at the five. Three and a half minutes to go in the third. Here comes Hilliard. Tannehill wants something here. He's giving a signal as he steps out of the huddle. See what they have. It's a good strong run then. Picked up four. Titans with a bunch set of three receivers to the left. Empty backfield, two to the right. Jacksonville having all sorts of problems getting adjusted. They try to call timeout, they don't get it. Tannehill rolling to the left, turns, runs, scores. Finger roll, touchdown, tight, yes sir. Yes sir. Ryan Tannehill with the recognition. And then he hit the ignition to take it on into the end zone with some speed. Yeah, I like that. I like that a whole lot. Finger roll, the official caught the finger roll in the air. So that's a completion off the finger roll in the end zone. Followed by the Ben Jones cartwheel in the end zone. Have you seen that? I saw it. It's amazing. Look. Snap, set, extra point is up and it's good. The Titans have a three-score lead. 
with 251 to go in the third. The count, Tennessee 17, Jacksonville nothing. Off an 11 play, 69 yard drive that took 510 off the clock. The Nissan drive summary, Nissan Stadium, home of the Titans, Nissan official auto partner of the Tennessee Titans. Titans 6 of 10 on third downs. They've gained 224 yards. I mean, this is not going to be an offensive masterpiece, but it has been clean. It's clean, and it's it's what we need, and we need to continue to be clean. A lot of this game left, we can even improve more on both sides of the ball, and we need to do that. Mickens is deep to catch the kickoff from Bullock. 2.51 to go in the third. Jacksonville will have to get a little urgent now, which is not something they are just dying to do. They'll go tempo. They've got to go tempo now. Trevor Lawrence can operate the tempo pretty well. Though. Sure he can. But does he have enough help? Well. Bullock kicks it downfield. Mickens going to bring it out a yard deep to the five to the 10. Oh, he's in trouble. He's decked at the 15. Roberson, along with Crookshank. What about Roberson? Really great coverage then. That was really, really good coverage. That was good, lane conscious, aggressive coverage. I think old Roberson wants to play, coach. Yeah, but well, I mean, it's a good thing. When you get a chance to play professional football, you better want to play. Because if you don't, there's somebody that wants to behind you. Well, he has come back from IR like he really wanted to in his third year. Correct. Jacksonville backed up at the 15. Trevor Lawrence dropping the throw, firing right side, caught by Treadwell. He's tackled by screen at the 24-yard line. Here we go, tempo, Mike. Eight of nine on the play. Second down and one. Treadwell has been their leading receiver the last two games after being called up from the practice squad. Lawrence firing left side, making the catch is Jones. Fulton with the tackle, he had fallen down up to the 33 first down. That was just a, that was just a nine stop then. Titans leading 17 to nothing. Trevor Lawrence facing a four man front. Drops the throw, under some pressure, fires, nearly intercepted by Hooker, intended for O'Shaughnessy, incomplete. Really a great drive and a great read by Hooker. He needs to complete that play. He, he read it all the way. Everything was textbook except the non-catch. Hooker, four picks a year ago. This year, so far, none. Second down and 10. With the clock stopped, Jacksonville is able to huddle. They've got Farrell in the game at tight end. He's lined up in the backfield. Robinson, who's been a non-factor so far on the left hip of Lawrence. Lawrence throwing deep downfield, and the pass is caught by Jones, and there is a penalty marker down. It's caught at the 36-yard line of Jacksonville, or at the 36-yard line of Tennessee, I should say. I'm guessing pass interference, Tennessee, and so that catch is going to stand. Holding, offense number 68. Wow, okay, that too. Pass interference, defense number 26. Penalty's offset, replay second down. Quite a break for the Titans. Big I, break, huge I, break. I apologize, I did not see the first flag. I was watching down the field. Major break. He just let that thing go, too. So second down and 10 again at the 33. A minute 52 left in the quarter. That's the kind of mindset this offense is in now, too, Mike. And you've got to know that defensively. They're just going to let it fly and, and get a 50-50 shot downfield. Well, Jones, who just run the long route, has to come out of the game. Titans show blitz at Lawrence. They step out. Lawrence. Fires deep right side going for Treadwell. He makes the catch at the Titans 26 yard line. Former first round pick, Laquan Treadwell tackled by Hooker. That's pretty much on cue, just what I said. That's the offense they're in. 
Jacksonville got a big play finally. Lawrence hurries his team to the line with a minute 10 left in the third. Lawrence throws short, gets it to Robinson. He's taken down after a three yard gain by Evans. It'll be second down and seven. Penalty marker. Off the throw 78. 10 yard penalty, repeat first down. Holding on Ben Barch, who's playing right guard. Yeah, he was holding Big Jeff. And so instead of second and seven, it'll be first and 20. Seven penalties, 65 yards for Jacksonville. The Titans, zero for zero. Stay zero for zero. Robinson out, Chenault back in, Marvin Jones also back in the game. Jones wide to the right, Treadwell, O'Shaughnessy, and Chenault wide to the left. Tavon Austin also wide to the right. Empty backfield for Lawrence. Lawrence under pressure throws, it's intercepted. Picked off by the Titans, Jayon Brown, who dropped into coverage. He was a robber. He was a robber, he was mugging up. He mugged up the A-gap and then he came out of the mug. Perfect, perfect job by Jayon Brown. They fooled the quarterback, they brought pressure off the edge. That's a nice defensive stop, really nice. Titans will take over, first and 10 at the 33. Leading 17 to nothing. And so the Treadwell catch, which went for 41 yards, all for naught. That's a really good catch by Jayon too. He batted it down with his left hand and then brought it back into himself, pushing it back to himself with his left hand. Nice play, Jayon. Had a little smoke on it too. Yeah, it did. Second interception of the game for a Titans linebacker. Tannehill rolling to the right, throwing and completing, getting it to the tight end. My Cole Pruitt for five yards up to the 38-yard line. Tackled by Jack. You know, that's a tough place over there. The way the sun is setting, uh, uh, coming down in there right there, he threw that thing. Michael Pruitt did a nice job of tracking that ball with the sun in his eyes. The Titans will head down to the left end to begin the fourth quarter. As the third quarter is complete, after three, Titans 17, Jaguars nothing. Quarter action is just ahead. But first, a Titans radio scoreboard update. Kansas City routing the Raiders in the AFC West. I'm Lucas Panzeca. The Chiefs on their way to a 9-4 and four mark at the top of the AFC. It's 38-3 to three over the Las Vegas Raiders in Arrowhead Stadium. Lamar Jackson remains sidelined. He is out after an ankle injury in the first half. Baltimore 8-4 and four, trails Cleveland on the road in the AFC North 24-6. to six. Houston locked in a battle with Seattle in the third. Seahawks lead 19-13. Cowboys all over Washington in the NFC East 24-0 the score. New Orleans leading the New York, the New York Jets 13 to 6 and the Panthers trailing the Falcons 20 to 14. Great blitz by Ola Adani and then a great catch by Jayon Brown on the takeaway. Titans have it second and five at their 38 to begin the fourth quarter. Titans have outgained the Jaguars by 50, 229 to 179. Titans have outrushed the Jaguars 84 to 7. Ryan Tannehill 17 of 25, 159. Ferkser with four catches for 34 yards for the Titans. Jones with four for 33. Nick Nichols is the running back. Jeremy gets the carry, has some room, and as he bounces it to the left, goes from the 38 to the 44, and it's a first down for the Titans. 12 personnel move the fullback up from the fullback position to make it two by two. They were both off the line of scrimmage. That was a crunch play, which means the tight end on the right came behind the line of scrimmage to kick out, made a really nice hole. That was a nice run, nice design. McNichols, the most veteran of the Titans back, staying in there. Two receivers to the right. Hollister to the left, now motions in tight. Play fake, Tannehill takes a sack. Ward is able to get there and get him back at the 35. Tannehill wanted something, saw it wasn't there and took the sack. Well, he took a big, big hit. Ward beat, 
Ward beat the uh, Quisenberry very, very badly over here on the right side. And the thing that happens here with this type of play, your quarterback, he neither, if he can't get rid of it, he needs to eat it. He beat Quisenberry back inside. Clean shot on the quarterback. Second and 18. And with the 17-0 lead, you don't take any chances, right, Coach? No, sir. Tannehill going to throw it. Fires over the middle. Got it complete. And it's a nice gain up to the 48-yard line to Rodgers. And so it makes it third down and five, tackled by Jack. The way to get back a lot of that lost yardage off of that sack by Ward. 13-23 remaining in the game. Titans have Jones and Westbrook Aquina with Ferkser to the right. Rodgers to the left. Titans expecting a blitz. Tannehill in the gun. Takes another sack. Robertson Harris gets him down at the 40 yard line. Not a great day in pass protection for the Titans. No, not at all. And, and Jacksonville, you have to give them credit for what they're doing up front defensively. They are winning a lot of these one on ones. And then when they put pressure on, they're just, they, they, he came through a double team then. 12 and a half minutes to go. Kern set the punt. Titans not going to get on the ball until less than 15 remains on the play clock, which is now. Dickens is deep. On fourth and 13. Cox snaps it with one. Punt is away. Wobbler. Mickens comes up and makes a fair catch at the 24-yard line. Not Kern's best. No, he never, he didn't hit that thing solid at all, Mike. Jacksonville gets the ball back with 11.59 remaining, trailing 17 to nothing. As we play AFC South football on a December afternoon at Nissan Stadium. Out of pocket and worried about missing the next play? Take us with you. This is Titans Radio. 104.5 The Zone. While we were away, Bill Benovich, who had thrown his hat and not a flag, ruled that the Titans were illegally lined up for that punt. And so he stepped off five yards, meaning Jacksonville will now begin at their own 29. That's not real significant, except that 48 minutes and one second into this game, the Titans have been called for their first penalty. Yeah, and it was an unnecessary penalty either. It had nothing to do. It was a non-competition penalty. That was a mental error. Jacksonville with Lawrence under center has Robinson in the backfield. Play fake. Screening it right side, O'Shaughnessy to the 30. Shoestring tackle well done there at the 34-yard line by Molden. That's a great play by Elijah Molden. He was the only defender over there. There were three blockers out in front of him. He worked his way around them and made the tackle. Great play by Molden. Second down and five, 11.35 remaining. Give Robinson short gain on the play as the Titans stack it up very well. Evans led the charge. It's going to be third down and right at three yards to go. That was an RPO, too, by Lawrence. He's going to pull that thing sooner or later and take off running with it on the edge. Titans back to six defensive backs. Lawrence looks over the defense. And I think we have procedure. Penalty markers on the play. Full start. Offense number 75. Five yard penalty. Still third down. 75 is Juwan Taylor, the right tackle. Third down, third chains. Third and eight. Got to get him off the field. Chenault is back in the lineup. Mickens is also in the lineup. The ball's going to go to Chenault. 
Ball at the 31, they need the 39. Titans with two interceptions in the second half. One by Evans, one by Brown. Lawrence in the gun, takes the snap, feels some heat, flushed out to his left, could run for it, pulls it back, throws deep downfield, and it is intercepted! Intended for Mickens, it's Christian Fulton, his second pick of the year! Good for you, Christian Fulton. Great job of tracking that deep throw in the air. The Titans will take over at their own 18, 10.50 to go. Tennessee 17, Jacksonville nothing. There's nothing. Christian Fulton with his third career interception. Second of the campaign and the Titans take over at their own 18. For Lawrence, it doesn't look great on the stat line, but on third and eight, he had to do something. And so that sort of works as a punt. For Jacksonville, the problem is they're down three scores with 10.50 remaining. And if you're the Titans, you'd like to just go ahead and take care of this thing right now. Well, the thing you have to do too, Mike, and let's be honest, we've got to take care of our quarterback a little bit better. Hadn't been doing that very well today, unfortunately. McNichols is the running back. Tannehill under center. McNichols gets a carry on the left side. Powers his way for about a yard. First, first hit by Robertson Harris, who did not play in the first game. He's a good defensive lineman. Roy Robertson Harris, former Chicago Bear. Listen, they got some people. Jacksonville does, has defensive players all across the front. Titans taking a lot of time in the huddle. They come out with 15 on the play clock, second down and nine. Another carry for McNichols on the right side. He's taken down by McCray at the 20, another gain of one. And McCray came from the back side then. They had a decent push on the front side, but that, he came from the back side then to take him down really quickly. Titans in no great hurry right now. No, they need to play the clock game now. You'd like for him to play the chain game and get a first down here. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Tannehill in the gun. On third down and eight, Tannehill throws deep for McMath. It's over his head. McMath had come open, and Tannehill mad at himself. He's just a little high with that one to Racy. That's all on Tannehill there. That was, a, that was an overshot. That was a missed throw by Tannehill. McMath did a nice job of clearing and getting into that open space. That was on the quarterback then. He had plenty of time to. Here's Kern to punt it away. Kern three punts for an average of 35.7. Wobbly spiral, he hit it better. Mickens fields it on a fair catch at the 41 yard line. So 9-12 remaining in this game. Jacksonville gets the ball back. They trail 17 to nothing. Trevor Lawrence, 19 of 28, 194 yards, three interceptions all in the second half. Fights have done a nice job of getting takeaways. They have not done a good job of taking advantage of takeaways score-wise. They haven't done it at all. As a matter of fact, all three of them have not produced a point. Lawrence empties the backfield. Lawrence takes the snap, blitz coming, he's under pressure. He rolls and throws to the right. Two Jacksonville receivers, Treadwell and Chenault, fall over each other as the pass is incomplete. Jacksonville 2-10 on the season. 
They are on track to lose their fifth in a row. We need to keep them on that track. They had won a couple. They won in London over Miami 23 to 20, and they beat Buffalo 9 to 6. Lawrence firing for Treadwell, incomplete. He had it, and Fulton knocked it out. Christian, it's, I'm sorry, Mike. Christian Fulton, that was a great transition play by a corner. What that means is, in his back pedal, and then him being able to transition up to the catch point and knock it loose, nice play by Fulton. Third down and 10. Adaney is in to rush the passer. Landry, who already has a sack, is lined up at left end. Autry is lined up on the nose. He has a sack already. Lawrence in trouble, spins out to his left, being chased, throws downfield, and it is intercepted but out of bounds by Hooker. Titans had Jones pinned against the sideline and Lawrence running for his life. There's the catch Hooker needed on that one earlier. Great catch, just out of bounds. Fourth and 10, does Jacksonville go here? They probably will with 8.55 remaining. Yeah, they have to. But Lawrence is running for his life right now. Lawrence has Hyde in the backfield. Chenault wide left. Fulton has him. Three receivers to the right on fourth down and 10. Lawrence feeling some heat up the middle. Hit as he throws and it's caught. Caught in Titans territory with the first down. It's Treadwell to the Titans 47. Tackle by Maben with 8.40 to go. Jacksonville has some life. You just can't allow that to happen on fourth and 10 when you're just about to choke the life out of them. You can't give them any air. That gives them air. Autry nearly took him down. Lawrence hit by Roberson as he throws and it's batted down by Simmons incomplete. Major pressure again there. The pressure on the fourth and 10 was good. You just got to get your coverage tightened up. 827 remaining. Titans lead 17 to nothing. Looking to go to nine and four on the season. Take a step closer to the playoffs. Chenault and Jones wide to the left. Austin wide to the right again. Hyde in the backfield. Titans set to rush five. Here they come. Lawrence has time, throws, Hyde makes the catch, and is tackled by Brown with help from Roberson at the 41-yard line. It's a gain of six. That's more than help from Roberson. That was an amazing Ford over Rooster then, right in the middle of the road. Say that again? Ford over Rooster. You ever seen a Rooster run over by Ford pickup in the middle of the road? I can't say that I have. Well, now you have. That's what it looks like. And Hyde is having to leave the field. Oh my goodness he, goodness, he took a, maybe Gush, he took a pop. Not even my goodness. How do you think that rooster feels? My Gush. <laughs> it's third down and four. Eight minutes remaining in this football game. The ball rests at the Titan 41. Lawrence has thrown three interceptions. He drops. He looks, he's under pressure. He gets away from one. He spins back. He does not escape Roberson. Sack! <laughs> way back downfield in Jacksonville territory at the 37 yard line. And that's $100 to Second Harvest Food Bank from Kroger. <laughs> Roberson ran over the rooster. Then he sacked the rooster. He's having a nice day. Eric Roberson, third year man out of Sam Houston State, now on fourth and 27, Jacksonville has to punt. A bomb, just an absolute bomb by Cook. From the seven, here's Rogers to the 10, to the 15, to the 16. Tackle there by Ogunbowale, the former Buccaneer. 
And the Titans will take over with 6.55 to play, leading this game 17 to nothing. I'm really glad you got to say Agumba Wally's name. Agumba Wally? Yeah. Darie Agumba Wally. You're the best, Mike. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Titans with three sacks on the day. Defensively, the Titans at this point obviously have held the Jaguars scoreless for 53-05. Looking for their first shutout since they shut out the New York Giants three years ago. We need to choose stripes, gain chains, keep this ball moving here. End it. Yeah. Nichols is the running back, five-man front for the Jags. Tannehill throws in the flat. It's caught by Westbrook at Keena, and he is slung out of bounds at the 23-yard line by Griffin. Griffin's played a good game. He's a good player. He is a good player. We'll give him closer to the 24. It's a gain of seven. It'll be second down and three. Take all the time in the huddle. What's ha what having the veteran quarterback is. You're 100% right. So important. <laughs> tight end either side, receiver tight either side. Tannehill. Gives McNichols a chance. He's got it to the 30. McNichols to the 35, to the 36. And that's a first down for the Titans. Tackle by Wilson. You know what? And that all came off of the success on first down, Mike. Success on first down in this type of situation against the defense that's been out there all afternoon, that's what you need. Five forty-five remaining. Some may wonder, why, not, why is Julio Jones not in the game? It's because you're up 17 to nothing with 5.35 to go. He's exactly where he needs to be right now. I, I would say this is a pretty successful return today. Great return. Nick Nichols on the left side. About a yard. Wilson with another tackle. 5.15 and counting. Tannehill huddles him back up. The only bad news for the Titans, a couple of injuries. Torrey Carter, the fullback, left with a right ankle injury. Roger Saffold has left the game with a neck injury and has been taken to the locker room. So Aaron Brewer is playing left guard for the Titans now. Tannehill. Motions Furtzer to the right. Play fake Tannehill. Looking, throwing, incomplete. Intended for Pruitt over his head. Defended by Jenkins. Michael Pruitt, he tried to have the throwback wheel. Wheel route is where you try to throw back away from where the action started and then start out and then go up. Defended very well. Tannehill, 19 of 29, 179. No touchdowns, no interceptions. He has run for a touchdown. Tannehill, four rushes, 29 yards, and a score. Foreman, the leading rusher, 13 carries, 47 yards, and a score. Bunch set of three receivers to the right on third down and long. 435 remaining in this game. Tannehill drops, blitz coming, screen pass, Hellyer dropped it. bad in a couple ways. First of all, bad to drop it because it would have been a good gain, but also stops the clock. Hilliard's got to catch that football. I mean, this is professional football. you got to catch that ball. So Kern on to punt to Mickens with four and a half minutes to go. Just doesn't feel like Jacksonville has much pep in their step at this moment, does it? Well, because they're choking their windpipe off. We need to keep doing that. 
Kern takes the snap. Hunt is away. Wobbly spiral. Mickens can return it, but instead, once Crookshank starts to bear down, he fair catches it inside the 20. That was a nice distance punt then. It wasn't very aesthetically pleasing, but we needed a distance punt then for field position, and that's what Kern did. 17 nothing Titans, 424 remaining. 18 yard line is where Trevor Lawrence will begin. Lawrence 21 of 34, 212 with three interceptions. He had only thrown 10 on the year. And had not had a three interception game since the season opener against Houston. Delay handoff, here's Robinson up the middle to the 20, and Robinson out to the 29 yard line, but a marker on the play. Holding, offense number 68. 10 yard penalty, repeat first down. Nine penalties, 80 yards for the Jags, one for five for the Titans. Let me say this, they had a, they had a light box. They knew they, were, they were, knew they were going to run the football. That's really not a smart play by number 68. I'm not gonna mention his name because that was not a smart play. Andrew Norwell Thank is you. his name. He's an eighth year man from Ohio State. You gotta understand that when you're trying to do that, you just need to shield them off. First, the light box. First and 19 from the nine. Lawrence as Robinson on his left hip he drops the throw he fires to O'Shaughnessy in the flat Jones is there with Molden to hit him after a very short game that's a nice job too and they had gang tackling going on over there keep the clock running too Titans have some of their starters out of the game Autry and Simmons are both out of the game well, Mike, now they've got people back where they can afford to do that, right? Absolutely. It's a great point. Byard is out of the game with 3.45 to go. Lawrence to throw it. Looking, fires down the middle. Intercepted screen. Buster screen to the 30, to the 25, to the 20. Buster screen is taken down at the 15. Fourth interception for the Titans. And it's Chattanooga's own. Buster. Green. Look how his defensive players are reacting to Buster Screen. This kid has this kid has become a popular player on this team since they picked him up. I love that. Nice job, Buster Screen. The Titans will start this drive in the Pinnacle scoring zone. Pinnacle makes banking as easy as it can be. Visit TitansBanking.com to learn about our convenient mobile banking. Pinnacle Financial Partners, play hard, bank easy. Member FDIC. That was really a nice play. He's a very heady football player. I really like that kid in the draft coming out of Chattanooga. And clearly, he's made a nice 11 year career for himself. He sure has. Ball inside the 15. We'll call it the 14 as Tannehill brings him up. He's a very popular player, Mike, on this team right now. You've seen that in practice. You really have. Three thirty-two to go in the game. Tannehill gives it to McNichols on the left side, steps out of a tackle, and is able to get down to the ten. But a penalty marker is down. Gonna be holding. Holding. Offense number sixty-two. Ten-yard penalty. Repeat first down. Second penalty on the Titans for fifteen yards. Coach McGinnis, safe to say today, at least through 56-33 of this game, just what the doctor ordered. Exactly to do. what they needed to do. Come out and play clean. What You knew it wasn't going to be perfect. Never is in the National Football League. But they've played clean. They've given themselves a chance on both sides of the line of scrimmage to win. There's things that need to be cleaned up, clearly. But it was a clean game, and they came out with some energy. McMath wide to the right. Bunch set of three receivers tight to the left. McNichols remains the back. McNichols gets the carry, runs into his own man, then runs into Jack. On first and 20, he picks up two, maybe three. It'll be second down as the clock runs. 
Jacksonville not using timeouts. Second and 18. Well, as long as Urban continues to save timeouts for the plane ride home, we'll just let the clock run. Two forty-five and counting. Titans with one hundred six rushing yards. Titans have to use a timeout as they don't get lined up properly, stopping the clock with two thirty-six remaining. That's that might be one of the uh, few non-clean plays they've had, other than the illegal formation on the punt team. Titans were going to get a penalty for not having enough men on the line of scrimmage. And so Vrabel takes the quick timeout. Good move by Mike Vrabel. Next Sunday, Steel City, Titans, Pittsburgh, Heinz Field, Titans countdown at 11 a.m. Central, Titans Steelers, next Sunday here on Titans Radio. Two tight ends to the right, one to the left. Now Swain motions into the backfield in the fullback position. Titans in an eye, play fake. Tannehill rolling, looking, throwing for Swain at the 20, to the 15, Swain to the 10, and Swain is taken down inbounds at the nine yard line. Peter Lewan over. Sees Jacksonville take a timeout. Jenkins made that tackle. Titans will have third down and about five. I have a feeling Lawan remembers Urban Meyer from his time at Michigan and Urban's time at Ohio State. Probably a very accurate statement. That may be some of what's going on over there. And Michigan, in case you didn't know, beat Ohio State this year. Oh, I know. So you wonder <laughs> if he, if that might be part of, I mean, whoever knows with Taylor Lewan what's really happening. Yeah, and we're a long way away from that conversation, too. But you can only guess. Yes. I'd like to hear it. Yeah, you, yeah, you probably would. <laughs> Third down and five at the nine. Hollister, the only receiver, he's wide to the right. Give it to McNichols, and he is met by three Jags led by Roberts and Harris and taken down at the 11-yard line. Timeout Jacksonville. And the Titans going to send the field goal team on here. Give them a little practice with 2.24 remaining. Well, if they convert this, this will be the only points they've converted off four turnovers, correct? That's correct. Of course, all three of the first interceptions were in Titans territory. Correct. So, in fairness. We always want to be fair. We always want to be fair and accurate. The Titans will beat the Jaguars for the ninth straight time or the eighth straight time, I should say, here at Nissan Stadium. Here's Bullock, 29 yards out of the hold of Kern, right hatch. Snap, set, kick. Good! Titans 20. Jaguars nothing. 2.20 remaining in this game. Nissan drive summary, four plays, three yards, 108 off the clock. And so now it becomes, can you hold on to the shutout? Can you hold on to the shutout? And, you know, I enjoy this. I, I, I enjoy doing this anyway. But when I can give thumbs up to the fans that are already leaving to get it early out of the parking lot, when we still got time left in the game, that's one of my favorite types of games to call. Here's another thumbs up I'm giving to fans looking at me. Well, they love seeing you. They love 20 to nothing. They, they love. love 20 to nothing. And, you know, this is what we thought we would probably get 
today. We thought we would get a Titans team that would not try a lot of wild things on offense because they still don't have all their weapons back. And the other thing, too, is Jacksonville has not been scoring. So if the Titans could play clean, it was going to be hard for Jacksonville to beat them. Yeah, and, and what we also have seen, Mike, is how much important it is to get your people back. That's been big. Bullock to kick off. Hits it downfield. Mickens going to let it go for a touchback. The other thing to say is we still don't have all our people back, but you can just see the difference it makes just in the defensive front rotation, being able to get those guys out there and, and have fresh legs and bodies coming in. Well, it has been a year of... You know, just oddities as far as the injuries. We we know the stat. The Titans have set a record by already playing 86 players this year. Mentioned earlier that 20 of the 48 active for today's game for the Titans were not active on October 10th in Jacksonville. That's incredible, Mike. It really is. It's remarkable. Lawrence, under pressure, throws incomplete behind Chenault as the Titans were blitzing. Well, sure they are. And you know what these guys that are getting to play now? The other thing is I love being able to take our guys out and still have guys come in, get some experience to play, and they're all fired up to play. That's a nice pressure blitz then. Dylan Cole had that pressure. Titans up 20 to nothing with 2.16 remaining in the game. Trevor Lawrence has thrown four interceptions all in the second half. Lawrence, under pressure, throws short. Ogun Bawali makes the catch. Not much. Hit immediately by Molden and taken down after he picked up a yard. As we head to the two-minute warning, which is always brought to you on Titans Radio by our great friends at Delta Dental. Delta Dental of Tennessee covers your eyes and your smile. Visit DeltaDentalTN.com to learn more. Final two minutes here at Nissan Stadium. Titans up 20 to nothing, trying to hold on to that shutout. On the way, stats, scores, and a full recap of Tennessee and Jacksonville as Titans Radio's Locker Room Report starts here in a few minutes. Titans last shutout, December 16, 2018, at the Meadowlands. They beat the Giants 17 to nothing. Derrick Henry, 33 carries, 170 yards, and two touchdowns. So right, the Titans trying to hold on to it. Third down and eight. Lawrence. Dropping to throw under pressure. Lawrence hit as he throws, and it's ruled incomplete as Lawrence got buried. Adaney is there. Pecco is there. It's fourth and eight. Hey, Mike, this is your number one draft pick, right? This is your franchise quarterback. You're down 20 to zero, 156 left. Why is he still in the game? I don't know, coach. Because, I mean, he hasn't had a good day today and he hasn't had a great rookie year, but he's gonna be so good. Well, yeah, but you wanna get him killed now? I agree. Fourth down. Here they come again. They screen it. Ogunbowale on the left side is going to be taken down well short of the first down at the 31-yard line, and the Titans are going to finish a shutout. Super, super tackle on the play. Naquan Jones was there leading the charge. i tell you what, too. I love watching these veteran players celebrate those younger players in there preserving the shutout. That's what you need. This Look, this stadium, the people that are left are having fun in this stadium. The players are having fun. This is what this is about. Win games, and everybody feels really good. Logan Woodside is coming in at quarterback for the Titans as they take over at the 30-yard line of the Jaguars. See, that's what you do because Mike Grable is a professional coach. And Woodside is going to take a knee. Jacksonville has one more timeout. Don't know why they would take it now. Before the next snap, we pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the NFL. This is Titans Radio. This is your official home for Titans football. Touchdown, Titans! 
WGFX FM Gallatin Nashville 1045 The Zone It has not been exciting but it has been satisfying if you were a Titans fan It's been very satisfying and it's exactly what they needed to do Woodside with a minute 10 to go goes under center takes a knee at the 106 mark he'll have to do it one more time Mike Vrabel will win his 40th game, and he is still not through four full years as a head coach. Boy, he's done a tremendous job. He and John Robinson and this whole crew really done a, really done a tremendous, tremendous job. He's undefeated coming off a of bye, too, right? Am I correct in he saying sure that? He sure is. I mean, he's undefeated. In, in... <laughs> Got to keep talking, Coach, before you No, I you can't wave. keep talking. I'm before looking at myself wave. on the board.